Before beginning a pump test, it's important to collect all the information. We look at piping, pressure gauges, temperature gauges, and collect the nameplate data for the pumps and the motor. Once we've collected that data, we can begin going to the manufacturer and getting the pump curves to begin our test. When testing a pump, we collect several pieces of information. We start with taking a flow utilizing an ultrasonic flow meter. We then, using a calibrated test gauge, take pressure readings. It's important to set up the pressure readings directly before and after the pump, as any instruments in between the pressure readings can affect our data. We also take the power readings to the pump, as well as the speed, so we can correlate this information back to the pump curve. When recording pump data, it's important to collect three different readings. The first is the as-is condition. Then, slowly close the discharge valve until it's completely shut. We call this the deadhead position. Once data is collected there, slowly open the discharge to about 50% of the as-is condition. That data can then be correlated to the pump curve. If you don't have a pump curve, you could still calculate the pump's efficiency. This is done by correlating water horsepower to brake horsepower. Water horsepower is calculated using the flow and the head divided by 3960. Brake horsepower is calculated by taking the actual tested readings in KW, multiplying that by the nameplate motor efficiency, and dividing that by 0.746. The difference between the water horsepower and brake horsepower is the efficiency.